Now recognize Mr. Reichert for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Sorry I uh, missed uh, some of your testimony. I, uh, we all have other venues we have to run to and come back to. Um, I want to follow up, I think, on a little bit of what Mr. Rangel was talking about. I'm, I'm guessing we're going to be heading in, this, in, in the direction of some strategies, but specific to a certain issue um, of growing exports. So I support a timely, uh, seamless renewal of AGOA, and all of us do. Uh, in recent years, some countries have begun to develop AGOA export strategies that identify measures, measures that can be taken to promote greater use of AGOA benefits. Um, an example of that would be Kenya has developed a national AGOA strategy focused on diversifying its exports, easing barriers to exporting, and further strengthening ties with the United States and uh, U.S. businesses. Specifically, this includes looking at ways to improve infrastructure, increase exposure by raising the profile of Kenya products, and reduce burdensome regulations. Um, the problem is that most countries still don't develop these strategies uh, or look at AGOA strategically. And you mentioned some of your strategic uh, issues, continental, regional, country, the ambassador's involvement, and the involvement of the president. I'm guessing that all of those components certainly would apply to, to helping in this arena. But is there, is there anything that's more specific to uh, encouraging other countries uh, uh, to, to uh, sort of follow the pattern that Kenya has sort of presented? Any, anyone? Um, thank you very much for that. I think a very important question. Um, the, uh, the annual U.S. AGOA Forum, I think, provides a great opportunity for every country to come forward with their national AGOA export strategy. And I think we've seen where certain countries, you know, are using the Internet much more effectively and certain governments are using the, the, the Internet much more effectively to post contracts in the natural resource sector. And I think that we can make a concerted, concerted effort in our dialogue with AGOA beneficiaries, not only to have them develop uh, national strategies on, on, on AGOA exports, but to post them on the ministries of trade. And maybe they can also be posted on um, agoa.gov, um, our, our UST, our website. And if these AGOA strategies are developed in the right way, the result of a consultation between local private sector, civil society, government, other stakeholders, I think they can be terribly effective. So I would like, I would like to see over the next two or three years that every, Go, every GOA uh, beneficiary come forward with a national strategy that we can understand and that we can measure progress against. Other comments? Yeah, I would, I would add uh, one or two things to that. I think underlying um, your excellent question is um, African governments have the ultimate responsibility to come forward with their own strategies that um, will build upon and seize the opportunity of preferential access to the U.S. market. And within Within that, I think the U.S. government should be prioritizing its engagement and its very scarce assistance dollars on those governments that have demonstrated a strong commitment to reforms and action. So in the case of, uh, of Kenya coming forward with its strategy and um, hopefully taking very concerted actions as well, I think that's a great indication of a strong partner for the U.S. to engage with and support through a variety of different tools. So I think the first action has to come from, from African governments. Within that context, on our side, uh, going a little bit further than what I mentioned before, when we are thinking about uh, trade capacity building assistance, I think there's, there's um, a great opportunity to work within these strategies and, if required, to supplement them with constraints analysis um, growth and trade uh, constraints analysis. Um, I mentioned the political will to implement reforms. I have to look at that. Um, um, opportunities at the sector level for greater trade as well as the ability to attract investment. Um, I think it's those kinds of things that need to be guiding principles 
when we are determining where scarce resources should go. Um, but it all needs to flow from governments stepping up and coming forward with strategies, but more importantly than strategies, action. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. Thank you, Mr. Riker.